Hello, friends, and welcome back to r slash choosing beggars, stories of people who are being way too picky. And our first story. Hey, can I have more money, please? This happened several years ago, back when I was at college. I was one of the three friends in our friend group that had a job at 16. Because I had a job and living at home with no bills to pay other than my phone bill, I used to buy my friends things just to be nice. Most of them would be appreciative about it. One friend, on the other hand, he asked me one day for 20 pounds for supplies for his photography course. It was to help, and I did photography too, so I obviously thought I'd be nice and give him the money. What I didn't know was that he asked my other two friends with jobs for 20 pounds as well, so he got a total of 60 pounds out of us. Me and a few of our friends decided to go for lunch in town on one of our free lessons. We went to a local pizza place, and we saw the friend that asked for money with a large pizza for himself. We didn't question it, but I did think it was crap he asked for money from me but spent it on pizza. I gave him the benefit of the doubt and just kept quiet. The next day he came back to me and asked for 20 pounds again for photography supplies. I asked him what happened to the 20 pounds I gave him yesterday. He said that he lost it. So I confronted him and asked him how he paid for the pizza the other day. He got annoyed and said, I'm not his mom. I left it at that because he just gets petty when he's annoyed. He eventually got another 20 pounds from our other friend. We got into our photography lesson and he told our lecturer that he hasn't got any photo paper because he has no money for it. I got annoyed and called him out straight away and said me and my friend gave him 40 pounds for paper but he spent it on other things. He tried to throw me under the bus and said that I didn't. Me and my other friend were visibly annoyed. We left the lesson without him and told our friend group about it. He took a total of 100 pounds off us for photography supplies told us all the same story, so we challenged him again and said he took money off us and we expect him to pay us back. He refused and said that he doesn't get why we care so much about the money if we're rich enough to give it away. We explained that we thought it was to help him with his education. He got really pissy back and told us all to go F ourselves. We cut contact with him for the rest of the week. He never spoke to any of us for a good month after that. He came back to our group a month after. He apologized for the way he acted and said he had personal issues, which he used the money on. We didn't want to pry because he looked visibly down. He asked if I can genuinely give him money for photography supplies. So I said, I'll go get him what he needs and give it to him instead of the money. He hesitated, but agreed. When we went to the photography shop to get the paper and filters, he asked for the receipt I took the receipt because I had a feeling of his intention and I gave him an old receipt from when I just bought paper the previous week. Later that day, he came up to me and started having a go at me because the photography shop refused to refund him without the real receipt. I said that I did it for this specific reason. It ended how you can guess. We all just gave up on him and never spoke to him again. No, you cannot have a foot long. Obligatory on mobile, and this also happened about 2015 when I was in my first year of university, and also conversation is as best as I can remember. I remember this after reading about the guy working the drive through who had someone's card declined, then wanted the food for free. TLDR at bottom. At the time I worked at Subway, and we had a deal on where you could get a limited number of 6-inch subs for $5 each. A woman, choosing beggar, came in looking quite hangry and spoke with me. Choosing beggar. I want to order something, but I haven't eaten all day and left my wallet at home uh, about a half hour's drive out of town. Would it be possible to get an IOU? Me. Let me just speak with my manager. The manager wasn't in the store, and I knew she wouldn't want to hear what this woman was saying, but to please the customer, I called her anyway. As expected, the answer from my manager was no. I was a broke university student, but felt really bad for this woman, so I thought... I would help her out just this once. Me. I spoke with my manager, and unfortunately, we can't offer you an IOU, but I'm willing to pay for you to have a six inch sub in the $5 range. Choosing beggar. Oh, thanks. I'll get a chocolate biscuit and a Sprite, too, but I can't decide between the chicken schnitzel or the steak pieces. Me. I'm sorry, but as I'm paying for this out of my own pocket, I can only give you something from the $5 range. Choosing beggar. But you just said you would pay for me, so I want what I asked for. Me. I said I would pay for you to get something from the $5 range. I'm sorry, but that doesn't include biscuits and drinks. Choosing beggar. 
give me what I effing ordered. This is such S customer service. If a customer asks for something, you give it to them. Me? Right? Well, so you don't want something from the $5 range that I'm offering to pay for? Choosing beggar. No, listen to me. I want what I effing order and not this other crap. Is that so hard to understand? Me. Right then. What will you order today then? I then made CB's order exactly as she specified. I can't remember exactly, but it was a foot-long sub with a biscuit and a drink. Then we got to the cash register. Okay, that will be, insert dollar amount, maybe $13 for the sake of an approximate amount. Choosing beggar. What are you talking about? You said you would pay. Me. I said I would pay for something from the $5 range. I clarified this with you, and you said you didn't want to order from that range, so I'm not paying for you. That'll be $13. Choosing beggar. You can't offer something to someone, then take it back. This is effing ridiculous. I want to speak to your manager. Me. I gave you an offer. You rejected it. Now, if you want your sub, fine. That will be $13. If not, I will happily take your name and number for my manager to contact you regarding any complaints you have. Choosing beggar didn't bother leaving her details. She just stormed out yelling profanities and yelling bad customer service while poor families are staring wide-eyed. <laughs> Lend a spare phone to a friend after hers got stolen. She sold it and didn't want to pay me. A solid three-year friendship went to crap over a phone a few years back. I've always been a phone breaker. So when I have some extra money, I buy Android phones just in case, you know? Also not in the United States. Fast forward to a fateful day where this friend, let's call her Sari, gets mugged. Phone stolen, lives very far away from her family, is in college, really needs a phone. I had a spare and she knew, so she asked about a week after the mugging happened. All that week I'd been hearing her Sari story about not communicating with family, being behind in college, and so on. I lend her the phone and tell her to give it back as soon as she gets a new one. She agrees. I think that will happen soon, as she has a good job. I know this for a fact. We were both working in the same company, and I knew that she was well above my salary and got juicy bonuses, she boasted to me. I know she could afford to pay me back or, you know, give me my phone back. Months pass, and she still hasn't given it back. This girl is giving her best life, buying expensive crap, clubbing, traveling, you name it, so I ask for my phone. To me, that was enough time. Three months or four have elapsed this far. She must have had the chance to buy herself a new one. Besides, mine was acting up and I needed to have a spare just in case. The conversation goes like this. Me. Hey, girl. Sorry, could you return my phone sometime this week? Sorry. Hey, girl. Sorry, I can't give it to you, so no. Me. No. Why is that? Sorry. I sold it. Me. You did what now? Sorry. I sold it and bought myself a new one. Yours was too basic. Me. So you could have returned it. Anyways, the phone was $120. I still have the receipt I can show you. You have to reimburse me for that. Sorry. No, I don't. The phone was a gift. Me. No, I lent it to you. I told you and our other friend in common that was present during the conversation about lending the phone, as well as the day I gave it to her at the local we worked in. I mean, we could ask her. Sorry. No, I just don't feel this is fair. That was a gift. Me. No, it was a loan. I need another phone, sorry. ASAP. Sorry. Well, buy one. Me. I wanted the phone I gave you. I had that phone to spare in case something like this happened. Sorry. You weren't using it, and it was crap. I had to sell it and pay extra to buy a good phone. Me. I want my money. Sorry. Sorry, you're being unfair. Me. What? Sorry. I've been having a hard time and you're making it worse. Me. You've been clubbing like a maniac girl. Just pay up, that's all. Sorry. I won't. You're trying to rip me off over a gift. You're being a terrible friend. Me. Lord, you're not saying that. You know what? Just pay me. Sorry. You're a bad friend. Me. Just pay me. Sorry. No. She walked away and we didn't speak for the remainder of the morning. I contacted the third friend and asked her. She confirmed my recollection, it was lent, not given, and flat out called the other girl a liar. She then told her to pay up some money she owed her and this girl sorry stopped talking to either one of us, accusing us of being insensitive and so on. It was tense at the office for a while, and then she got herself fired for stealing in the company. Never got my phone or my money back, and neither the other girl nor me know whatever happened to her after being fired. This was r slash choosing beggars. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and see you soon.